Welcome back, everybody. So, today, I'm going to review Crown Royal Peach. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys can see that this is kind of a funny story. I don't have the other bag down here, but um, a very long time ago, I would say probably maybe a year after I started the channel, uh, Steve brought over... Crown Royal Peach, and um, there was a tiny bit left, and I want to say we had it with tea. I think I had tea here, and we mixed it with that, and he left the rest of it here, and it just sat here, and this year, I, I did the summer mix drink one, and I was talking in there. It's almost like I'm starting to try different stuff instead of you know drinking beer on hot days it it's mixed drinks and just trying a lot of different ones of those and so the other weekend we were at the store and i picked up this well not this but crown royal peach and it came in a box with a bag we scanned it we bought it walked out and we got home and i was like I'm going to have a drink, a mixed drink, so I'm going to get it out. And I took this out, and it had the security tag on it. And it's like, I don't know, 15 minutes away. And I didn't want to go back there, so I found my own way of taking the top off. Well, in doing so, I was using a saw, and I actually cut into the crown top. So this bottle is, and top is from a long time ago. That's why, I, I don't know if you can see it. It's still got the thing on it, but I've had some out of here. But anyway, back to this. Uh, this is just a review of this. I've been drinking this in mixed drinks, which you're going to see. But I'm, I'm kind of like the person, I want to smell, I want to taste the raw ingredients or what I'm go what's going into a mixed drink. And I can tell you, I've had probably maybe two, two or three or four, somewhere in that range, two to four. Uh, from this, I finished the other bottle and then I started this. Um, I want to, I want to taste, smell what the bases are before I put it in a mixed drink. So that's why I'm doing these, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Now, I put this in the fridge. Most of the time, I'm going to add ice cubes to my mixed drink. Uh, and so this would be out. But for this review, and I've got one more coming up, I didn't think it would go well in the freezer. Um, so I just put them in the fridge. So if, they're, if I should put them in the freezer, tell me below. I'm not drinking this stuff straight. I'll drink bourbon. I'm not going to drink this straight. So that's why I usually leave it out because the mix I'm using is usually cold. Then I put ice cubes so this doesn't need to be in the fridge. Yeah, color's good. It looks like a whiskey. It's got legs. I mean, for anybody that doesn't know, because I can't remember, this is 70 proof, 35% alcohol. Um, it looks fine. It kind of looks darker than some of my bourbons. That's what scares me. I mean, do you really care? And here's, I hope this doesn't drop, but here's the bottle. But yeah, it, I mean, it looks good. It looks like there's a peach tint to it, but I can't tell you if that's true. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and smell. It smells like whiskey. It's It's got a little oaky, malty, grainy smell to it. I do get like slight peach ring, maybe sugar-free peach ring. Eh, maybe a little bit more than sugar-free. Maybe half and half, not full peach ring because... A little oaky maltiness. It, 
it smells better up top. Like almost maybe like hot cold where the oakiness is going down below and the peach ring is going up top. Yeah. It smells okay. I, I'm surprised it's not peachier. Because um, I believe it's natural flavors. Does it even say on here? Peach flavored whiskey. Does it say? Fresh Georgia peaches. Infused with the juicy flavor of fresh Georgia peaches. So does that mean they're using real Georgia peaches in here? Infusing it, obviously. Huh, okay. Let's go ahead and taste. Yeah, sweeter. I think that peach stands out most. Kind of takes out the whiskey flavor. I get a touch of oak bitterness in back. There's really no alcohol burn. Like sometimes you get in bourbons, whiskeys like that. Um, it's kind of subdued. There is a touch, but that peach flavor, whatever they're doing in there, um, does stick out. I, I think I still get a little graininess in there. Yeah, like grainy, maybe a touch of oak, not burnt, not charred, but just a little bit of oak. But I think that peach flavor, flavor sticks out the most in this. Um, technically, I think this is my first time doing it neat, if that's what you want to say. Um, I'm sub... It seems like, and I'm going to do some mixed reviews with this, it seems like when you put it in a mixed drink, there's a lot more peach flavor that comes out than, you know, what's in here. The, I wouldn't say bland, but when you're comparing it to a regular whiskey or a bourbon, um, those, those flavors are muted. In, in this versus in a drink? That's weird. Like, I was thinking this was going to be over peachy. Because um, I usually mix it with a Simply Lemonade or Simply Lemonade Strawberry or what is it? Nature's... Nature something uh, strawberry lemonade. And I I get that intense peach. And I don't get it in here. Um, yeah, it's okay. But I think... I don't think I would drink this like this. Just straight up. I think I would always mix, mix it. But that's me. If you want to drink it straight up, go for it. Um, mixed drinks. Tell me down below what you put this in. Um, I'm planning on this summer, since we are into July, doing a lot more mixed drinks. Um, just see what I can find. Um, see what I like. So if you have any that you put um, Crown Royal Peach in, uh, let me know down below. And if there's any, what do you call it, flavored whiskeys, um, what other flavor whiskeys do you guys use? Like the first one, and obviously the the first summer drinks already out. That was what Western Sun Blueberry, Blueberry Vodka, if I could talk, um, with simply lemonade. That was good. So if you have any combinations, put them down below. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next video.